Hello and welcome back to the Purple Hand. So, it looks like Vlad is going to take over this land, but he left us alone long enough to actually finish our siege, so we control four provinces now. However, we may lose, well, we're going to lose Kurt Wallen if we don't, uh, you know, find a way of getting a duchy. But we'll see. Okay, greetings, Count Frederick. Zinch wants new servants in the material plane. Imprison Eberhand and use him as a host for a demonic servant of Zinch. Except, so we have to use demonic possession on Eber... On Eber... Uh, sorry, on Eberhart. Eberhart. Right. So who is Eberhart? Is it... Oh, it was us here, our court priest. Alright, can we just use demonic possession? He has to be our prisoner. Okay, okay. So we can spy on him, which would definitely do the job, I reckon. Imprisonment? People would vote yes for it? Wait. They would... Oh, we, we, they would consider us uh, tyrannical, but they would vote yes for it. Okay. We're gonna spy on them, though. We're gonna go spy on them, see if we can get a reason to imprison. Uh, appoint commander. You would like me to be your commander. I'm just gonna say this once. God, no. Because you see the size of the army, we just get ripped apart by the vampire leading it. Uh, there we go. Our land is being uh, assaulted down. Goodbye all the levies we had. Ooh, we've got a reason to arrest Eberhart. Okay. 49%. He is in this county, it said. Um, wait, where are you currently? He's currently here. So if we send our marshal to increase arrest chance here. Is that 64% now? No, maybe we have to wait a little bit. Maybe it had to be on his province. Oh, we stopped becoming stressed. Fantastic. That means we get some extra health back. Chance to imprison has gone up to 74%. And we call him. Nice. Time to do a little bit of demonic. Oh, wait. So this just says induct him. Interesting. So if you imprison someone, you can just straight up make someone join your... Uh, Cult. Well, if you uh, just try and convince, if they're not imprisoned, you can just try and convince them. Interesting. Demonic possession, of course. Eberhart is dragged and bound at the center of a summon, uh, summoning circle where you start chanting the spell. What demon should you call forth from the warp to inhabit the body and devour his soul? Well, a flamer of zinch. Uh, the summoning was a success. The body of the prisoner starts twisting and burning as the flamer reshapes into a cacophony of discordant voices and writhing colors. Yet something went wrong with the wards. The demon slips away right after inhabiting the body, free to roam the world unbound. Curses. So close. So we fail the mission, and our court priest is now a Zeech Flamer, who is going to presumably cause some trouble for some people in... The Festering Herd over here. Alright. Wait, what is the Festering Herd? I guess maybe it's like a um, Holy Order, I would guess? The best way of putting it? What is it? Like, it says it's feudal, but they, what land do they hold? No land, so, yeah. Either that or a mercenary company? Anyway, not good for us because we failed our mission. At least we failed it instead of, you know, just giving up. Uh, you are not going to go hunt me. We're going to send you to do cultural tech. Nice. Well, Vlad's about to win. This should be enough war score if that's... Yeah, that counts. So there's enough war score. Please don't assault then the rest of my provinces. There we go. We're now in Sylvania. Um, and that should mean that we, it comes with some success. Well, it comes with some law changes because we're now effectively under the Empire of Sylvania. Although it's not one of the ones that we can see because we can only see one level above us. So maybe we didn't inherit the law changes. Eberhardt has ended up in prison, so there's no point spying on him anymore. I forgot I was still spying on him, but he's imprisoned by us. Oh. He didn't actually escape. He's still imprisoned by us. Um, We could execute him. People would probably be fine with that now. Recruit him to our service. Sacrifice him? I mean, we could sacrifice the flamer definitely an option. Sure. We've dressed him in a white gown and all that sort of stuff. We did the whole so the whole wood 
oil, uh, soaked, uh, oil soaked wood and you know, all that sort of stuff. And now, uh, oh, he was also a virgin. So there we go, 100 hope. And we got a little bit of weirdness happening again. We can become blind or we can have no effect. I think that we're going to have no effect again. That seems fair to me. Uh, never mind. We are now a minor mutant. Oh, okay. So we are a mutant, but the effects are largely cosmetic. Okay. So we're now double mutant. We're spines and mutant. There we go. Uh, young Ellen Nand has finished her education. So this is our daughter, and she is an intricate web weaver. All right. Um, what are we going to do? She can marry the king of Bretonia. And that's like a yes, I think. Straight away. Who else would we marry? Not only does it get us a ton of prestige, but it gives us a potential brilliant alliance, which he's going to take. We have an ally in Bretonia. I mean, that's pretty damn good. Right. Uh, do we have anybody who wants to join us from a diplomacy point of view? Just, we have a 23 who can join us. I think it's time that we replace a uh, Gerbert and we just get our 23. Um, we're going to invite him to court. There we go. Should be a yes. Appoint commander? No. Not interested. He's joined our court. We're going to put in our 23. We're going to send him to go fabricate flames. It's 19% yearly. So that is 2% um, up. But still, that means it's um, 1 in 5 chance of it happening every year. That's pretty good overall. In terms of stuff that could have been, pretty good. My wife Loretta tells me she is pregnant, but that can't be right, is it? Well, yeah, it is. We're going to get another vent. No, we'll trust her again. Even though she's sleeping with that person from foreign lands, we don't really care that much. All right, what's our hope like? Ooh, almost enough to level up to the next level. Nice. Uh, we can ask her leash for a title. Wait, do we still have that mission? We do. Hey, leash. Um... Give us a title? Well, let's see. I don't know what title we'd get, but... Wait, it worked. Okay. My dear Vassal, your devoted servant, I've decided to reward you. Please accept the county of uh, Markenbinen as a token of my love and uh, your loyal servant. Okay. Excuse me? Princess Kim, you, you actually gave us land? You have shocked me. Um... So we got this one, Mark, Mark Bin. Yeah, we got land all the way over here. All right, I mean, I don't want it, but we have it now, it's ours. Uh, new ambition, win a war, war chest, or Paragon of Virtue. We're not gonna get Paragon of Virtue, win a war gets its prestige, war chest gives us chance of getting events to give us money. We're not gonna extort our subjects either. Um, so what else do we, we well, we wanna get this, uh, we wanna get this duchy still. We're in the same spot. But now we lose two titles on succession, so that's good. Uh, we might just want to get rid of our other son. What's the chance to kill? Pretty high. No, we'll get rid of our other son. Daughters are fine, sons not interested right now. Kim called in a favor on us. I didn't know that we had a favor with Kim. Maybe that's the thing that you get for the acquiring title. I don't know. Point commander. Uh, no. Definitely not. Don't want to be commander. That's fine by me. Okay, um, another society mission wouldn't go amiss, you know, if they had any going. Just like another society mission at some point. Um, Count Vlad's winning some of his wars. That's good, I suppose. He's our leash, so we kind of want him to win a lot, like, all the time. Imperial Reichland seems like the next place he's going to go and uh, eat up. Uh, we've gained enough power to rank up. Definitely, we'll take it. And are we there yet? Are we ranked up? Yes, we are at the next rank. We are our mages, and that gives us the skull on our head. Yeah, that's good. Um, yeah. Apart from that, it also gives us the ability to do the um, cultist infiltration, which means that we can then start converting some provinces to our side and we can then perhaps revolt with them. Okay, a son was born to us and Mayor Loretta named Markwald, who is an idiot. Alright. Our wife is not enduring her labor as easily as one might expect. In fact, there appears to be actual danger of her not surviving the experience. Well, she did give us another son, so yeah. 
there's definitely a danger of that sun not surviving. Uh, we lost a... I think we lost a domain size there because our wife is no longer giving us slight bonuses to our domain. Anyway. Uh, disaster, your fellow member in the purple hand, Simon Brettner, has been brought... has been caught by the court priest Mainheart and his warriors. They spared no time before they burned him at the stake. Hmm. Curses. So by, uh... This guy, um, like people. Well, that's not good. Right. Um, our wife uh, seems to have recovered. Well, that's good, I guess. Yeah, she's still incapable, but she's recovered a little bit. Right. Uh, I want to get rid of this other son. We have a lot of plot power. Nobody else really wants to join. We might as well just accept it. We're as high in plot power as we can get. The only reason to add other people in would be to... Um, like, each of them would be, would multiply the chance, so if we're really rushing, that might be a good answer, but right now, we're not, we're not rushing. We'll be fine. We're not gonna die anytime soon, we're gonna get the claim first. Then we're gonna die mid-fight, uh, like, mid-war, and then not be in a good position. We're unmarried. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's find somebody who will get us an alliance. Uh, we're looking, well, not for our age, we're looking young as possible here. This would get us an alliance of her. Not as interested. Barrowlands? Where's that? Oh god, it's over there. No, I don't want any of that. So anyone who's in Celtic kind of um, tattoos, that, that's not someone we want to marry. Because they'll all be on that island. Um, yep. All of them. You're alright. Uh, who would you get as an alliance with? The Count Russell of Merck? who that is. Oh, it's this, it, it's her uncle who is down here. It's pretty far away. Okay, um, anybody younger is an alright option? You got a 12 year old from, whose father is that guy. That seems like our, um, betrothal. We don't need to marry her, we just need to, uh, we need to have the betrothal going so we can get the alliance. Yes, I'll take it. Right. Uh, my co-conspirator has found a maid that will kill my son. Fantastic. Fantastic. Right. There we go. Betrothal went through. I want the alliance. He's going to say yes. Nice. Another alliance for our side. We are well interconnected. That's good. Uh, our son was murdered. Uh, disaster, our fellow, oh, member of the Purple Hand, Lucrezia, was caught and she was burned at the stake. Oh, no. Oh, she also apparently turned monstrous at some point. That would explain how she was caught. And uh, we killed uh, Wiggerich, or Wig Wiggerich um, before any of this happened, which is nice. Right, or before... Um, Yes, we killed him before anything bad could happen, but then uh, we were discovered. Yeah, that, that's what I was going to say if my brain didn't just completely break at that moment. Right now we have to kill Markwald. There we go. Everyone join our plot to kill him. Oh, I like how we could change to our um, Leisure's religion if we wanted to. It's like, we switched. We could switch back, and it's all our fake religion. So it just really does not matter to us. We could um, righteously imprison Renard because he killed our son. I don't really want to, though, especially as he controls the council right now. So, anyway. Um, when can we get another upgrade for our building? Mercantile Academy. Pretty soon, actually. Pretty soon. Child lacks guardian. Not guardian. Uh, I've been switching between mods. Child lacks childhood focus. Um, duty. There we go. It's not the worst. Not the best. It'll always do. Okay, there's a few revolts going on if uh, Grand Count of Lad. But everything should be fine. Uh, anything else going on here? No, vassals are going to like us at the moment because we're not going to raise the levies for a very long time. There we go. Uh, there's another revolt on Vlad. So this one's a peasant revolt, so that's vampires. And the next one is a religious revolt, so that's uh, metallites. You would like us to join a plot to kill this guy who controls that land? Uh, but... No, I don't... Well, I mean, if we kill him... We've 
scaffold kind, it would split between his son. I still don't care, though. I mean, I would love to, but I don't. No, I just said no to joining that plot, unless that was a different guy. But they both want to kill him? Anyway. They probably want to, it's probably one of the sons who's actually running it or something. I don't know. Anyway. Um, anything else we need to be doing? Not necessarily. Uh, rulers can now revoke titles. Okay, without anything. Oh, and we voted for it because of our favor. Lovely. Anyway, um, ooh, Zinch's favors, uh, Magus, uh, Frederick. An opportunity to strike at the foolish followers of false gods has presented itself. The wolf priests in Torpin are ignorant of the true state of the world, tear down their idols and desecrate the land in the name of Zinch. Okay. So, we can desecrate the land. We right-click on the holding. Let's let it desecrate. Okay. Wait. Right-click on any holding or temple in Torpin and then desecrate. So where is Torp? Torpin's over here. So if I right click here, we can desecrate the capital. Let's desecrate the temple one. There we go. See how that goes. It could be that I'm using the powers of the purple hand to freely. People are starting to become suspicious. This priestess Astrid apparently has become suspicious. All right. My preparation and plans have been made. The local guard has been bribed to leave aside door of the gates on Torpin's walls open. So I and some of my faithful servants can enter and do the bidding of Zinch. Okay. As I and a group of my faithful make our way through the local shrine in Torpen, I spot a priest tending to their duties in the middle of the night. Well, let's knock them out from behind and we'll make for a good sacrifice. 200 hope. Wait, is that the priest or is... No, I assume it just, it's just because it's her province. Anyway, we'll get our 200 hope there. Oh, my co-conspirator Gillis has found out another maid to help us with killing our other son. Not my other son. It's not his son. Even though he does have a very nice beak. And navigating our ways through the shrine, I and my companions have entered the small room that goes for the inner sanctum. The room contains the spirits, possible honorings to Tal and scant few decorative idols and relics. The state of this place shows clearly the superiority of our cause. Can we get five gold or desecrate them for hope? Desecrate them for hope, I think. Yeah. Definitely. Phrase the architect of fate. My faithful and I exit the Temple of Torpin, having consecrated the place to Zinch. We have covered the floor of the whole building in warp dust. This action will cause all kinds of Zinch-blessed uh, Zinch mutations among Torpin's population. Zinch will be pleased. More hope. Like, even more hope. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to completely destroy that province. I wonder if it actually got any negative modifiers on it. No. It says slaves taken by raids. Nothing else on it. We killed our other um, son, and nobody blamed us this time, which is nice. Um, so, yeah, we now are going to lose nothing on succession, which is the way we want it to be. Sons need to die, but uh, daughters can live for alliances. This is our current state of affairs. Um, because it's agnatic, it's almost a risky thing, but what we can do is if it if our son dies, we just legitimize the next son. Is he still off studying? Oh, that's why he's not on our court. He came to our court and now he's off. He went somewhere else. But we're going to send the next son off to, to study as well. Actually, we're not in case it means we can't legitimize him. I think we can legitimize him wherever he is, but you know, I'd prefer not to uh, risk it. Um, oh, people have become less suspicious because I haven't used the powers that I have for a while. Well, that's good. A son was born to our bastard, um, called Werner von Lowe, and that is not a bastard. I gotta say, though, I just noticed the name. Uh, Jazz... So that is obviously Jasmine. Reinaud's daughter. Well, that's not too bad. A daughter. So it's, it's Reinaud's... It's Reinaud's daughter. Yeah, okay. Well, it's not as bad as I thought it was upon initially reading uh, whatever that was. But th that was actually very reasonable. Or dot... Was it dot sure? Something like that. Anyway. That's fine. Um, We're getting money. We're in a good spot. We're going up in the ranks. When we get to top rank, what we're going to want to do is kill the high mage just until we can become the high mages. But apart from that, we'll be fine. Our, our uh, princess wants us to become a uh, commander. Obviously not. 
We're going to wait on that claim, and we're going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.